okay this is the second part of your video but somebody um like people have to earn that that access to you you can't look at time because time is relative you can look at a calendar you can look at a clock and say i've known this person for a period of time but you that is relative like if their time is up in your universe it's time to release them it's time for you to go home and it's time for them to go home it's time to, it's time to close out a cycle here we have the king of wands I see somebody in a very powerful position, very powerful position where you're inspiring a lot of people instead of burning a lot of people because somebody has frustrated somebody. Somebody has frustrated somebody. So there's a lot that you can do if you're operating in faith. If you're operating in faith. Um, so let's see what else we got going on here. So a moon in Scorpio. So first things first. First thing, while we're in this space of the full moon in Leo, which is um, like three days before the 5th of Leo and then three days out from the 5th of Leo, give yourself some time. I mean, like really slow down and pay attention to all the messages that are coming through from source, right? And don't look at it as like, why I haven't thought about that person in years and why can't I get over this? And I thought if I did a burning bowl ceremony or cord cutting ceremony, it would be over. no. Thank source for letting it come back up in your spirit to give you an opportunity to do a burning bowl ceremony, to do a cord cutting ceremony as many times as you need to, to let that person know, I forgive you, you know, to, for you to send out messages of forgiveness to the universe, um, so that you can get on about the business of fulfilling your life purpose and your true identity here, your true authentic self. Meaning that I'm not entertaining anything that you show me a pattern of behavior that is a distraction from me living my absolute best, sunny, high, great life, high frequency, great life. I Step aside. I don't need anything blocking my sun. I need clear vision from my throne to see exactly what my life purpose is so I can live my best life in my personal and professional life. That's what I'm seeing here. Here are the numbers. Here's the number uh, one through five questions. Remember, Scorpio digs real deep. It does not stop before uh, before everything wounded and unhealthy is brought to the surface for the grand finale, which means the release and transformation. The process of purging is mostly not much fun while it's going on, right? So while it's going on, that could mean you're, you're purging some emotions and that could be some people, places, and things that's going along with it. But somebody's going to be vibrating higher and moving on from something. Here we have the Knight of Cups. We have the Nine of Cups, the Page of Cups, the Five of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and also the Seven of Cups. All right. All right. So the, the Knight of Cups, the Page of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the Five of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. Oh, my God. So somebody has been pouring a lot of emotion into something. Anger, frustration, crying, arguing, you know, rage. Or every Like somebody's been going from one end to the other in emotions with something, right? And I see at the end of all of this, when you decide I'm breaking free from fear within myself, doubt within myself. I see that I no longer wanted to be chained to fear or doubt. I'm not chained to an amount of time I've known a person or been on a job or in an organization. It doesn't serve my highest purpose. Somebody will be their own knight in shining armor. Somebody will free themselves. And if it's a romantic relationship that you're dealing, uh, dealing with and you free yourself, you won't have, remember you're a highly magnetic sign. You'll run right into your person. You're getting as far away from certain energies, but you'll go right into your person. You'll go literally right into your person. All right. We also have the page of cups. And once you leave somebody, they'll be, they'll be heavily on your mind. Like, like, um, I'm sorry, you'll be heavily on their mind. Excuse me. You'll be, you'll stay on their mind, but you'll know, Hey, there's no way I met, I met Prince or Prince is charming. You know, I saved myself from that situation, but you had to first take action and leave something behind. I met my person. I don't even know why I lowered my frequency to even entertain certain things, but it's going to, it's going to be real. It's going to take a long time for somebody to get you out of this system. And however that looks like somebody has been under the spell of a master manipulator, 
a master manipulator. And so they're going to have to keep replaying stuff over and over and over again in their mind, just like you're doing right now. Keep replaying something, looking back at the past and that kind of stuff. But somebody's in the company of a master manipulator. And, you know, um, you've had several Kundalini experiences, several Kundalini experiences, several snake bites, several awakenings. Like Source just keeps sending messages. And um, Source is like, okay. All right, whenever whenever you're ready to get off the, the merry-go-round, Source is like, we got your ancestors waiting to help show you where their motorcycle is to get as far away from them as possible. So it could be somebody that you know that has a motorcycle that's trying to tell you whether they're in the spirit realm. They could be an ancestor now that used to drive a motorcycle or whatever that's trying to tell you get as far away from them as humanly possible. Just get as far away from them. You're dealing with a master manipulator. Somebody's dealing with a master manipulator. And there's another motorcycle right now. So somebody's trying to decide, should I stay or should I go? Should I stay or should I go? And Source is like, go. Go save yourselves. Go and save yourselves. Here we have the Two of Swords. Somebody's in denial about something. We have the Eight of Swords, the Magician card, the Nine of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, and the Four of Cups, the Two of Pentacles. So again, Source knows that once you leave something behind that has been like that has been um has been for you like somebody was blinded by something in the past right again please don't be just one dimensional and think okay is this something recent that happened in the past this could have been something from your childhood that you were in denial about it could have been it, it could have been hurt on top of hurt on top from your childhood to your first love to your to uh, uh, your first boyfriend or girlfriend or the first marriage or second marriage. It could be somebody who just so much hurt was piled on. Like somebody feels like their growth is stifled. Like maybe somebody knows something about you that they're going to talk about or say something that stays heavily on your mind. Again, this is a general reading. If this doesn't apply to you, then great. But again, somebody is in denial about something. And so source is like, you don't need to overthink it. Just have faith. Just have faith. Break free of something. Here we have the King of Wands. Like I said, somebody's in a very powerful position of inspiring a lot of people. It looks like somebody's in a boss position, like somebody's in a leadership position where you inspire a lot of people. Don't let master manipulators burn through your money and make you look like you're the manipulative one because their energy, their manipulation sitting in your soil will make you doubt yourself. It like, what's the card? It'll make you doubt yourself. Am I making the right decision? What am I doing here? What am I doing here? So if you, if you need, I mean, if you need any more evidence and proof that's, that God has been giving you, all you have to do is say, okay, you know what? Call them on it. Call the person out on it. I thought you told me this. I thought you told me that. I thought you told me that. Like, speak up, say something, and watch how watch how they go into manip. They either gonna go in enrage mode. They may say something to hurt you or do something ghosting you. They may go off on you. Something like that is gonna show you. God has said, "I told you." God has said, "I, I, I." You know, not like I told you so. Like God is like gonna say, "I told you so," but God is like, "I, I told you." All you had to do was ask me, and you know, I'll I'll put the words in your mouth. The the. Full moon, especially in Leo, is going to expose people's true identity. That's what it's going to do. It's going to expose people's true identity. Just like it's going to expose what you could have without that identity, which is a great life. Nine of pentacles here. So we have the eight of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. And also, did I see the magician card before? Yep, the magician card came out twice. So you're getting double messages coming through. All kinds of messages are coming through. The got the two of pentacles, more money. <laughs> So we got 19 streams. We up to 19 streams of income. This is great. And then we got the four of cups. Did I say the four of cups before? Yep, four of cups twice. So all of these messages are coming through. Like somebody's just kind of at a pause, like trying to decide, do I vibrate high to my higher self? Do I take the high road and just go ahead and break a cycle or chain? Or do I vibrate low with somebody who's in their own personal hell? Who's, who I know is manipulating me, who I know is using me for something, right? And so again, source is saying to you, if you are, if you feel the need to approach them and, and call somebody out on their behavior or their inconsistencies, like somebody has been consistently inconsistent. If you were to call them out on it, you don't know what kind of energy. So if you're dealing with a fire sign, they may, um, a fire sign is Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. They may instantly blow torch you. 
you get a lot of answers during the full moon. They may instantly blow torture you with something. Like blow up at you, get mad, that kind of thing. If you're dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, they may ghost you or cut you off. Or try to, you know, if you're dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, they, it, it, it's like, okay, I'm just going along with the floor. That, I mean, like the, it, you could feel like, it could feel like manipulation. And I'm talking about at the lowest frequency. I'm not talking, if you're dealing with a, a fellow earth sign, another Capricorn, um, Taurus, or Virgo, you know, they may just kind of sort of, you know, take extra long to even respond to you because they are trying to think of something. Again, I'm talking about the lowest frequencies since we talk about the devil card. We're talking about the lowest of all the elements, right? We're talking about lowest. Of course, everybody at their high frequency looks different than that. But we're talking about somebody who their arrogance may come out in some. Their being dogmatic and prideful may come out in some kind of way. They may be kind of sort of fixate, like I'm not budging on how I feel. And, you know, like I said, coming across as arrogant. So be very careful with what you're dealing with. But again, there's some energies that source is saying to you, you're not, you're not, you don't have to be blinded by the truth. You can just see things for what they really are. So you don't, you don't even have to engage certain things. There's, there's certain things you can just say, you know what? I, I've seen enough. I've seen enough. I, I need to move on from this. I, I, I've seen enough. I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to allow myself to be manipulated by it at all. So that pause for you and you decided I'm going to send higher is breaking. That's, that's where we're talking about this last quarter moon in Scorpio. After the full moon. After the full moon has illuminated your spirit to show you what you still have time to part ways with in this cycle, then we have the last quarter moon. So we have a last quarter moon on the 13th of February in Scorpio. Like I said before, Scorpio is no joke. A moon in Scorpio, Scorpio is ruled by Pluto. That's the power, the planet of power and transformation. It literally deals with uh, metamorphosis. Un uncovering secrets um, within yourself and other people's secrets. Um, it deals with intensity. It literally is the death rebirth sign. So some things may be ending and it may be pretty intense. Like it, for you emotionally, it could just feel like this, like you going through a mourning process, but source is not going to let you sit there long because you're a highly magnetic sign. And source also knows that your card is the devil card. So if you sit in that, Oh my God, the relationship is over. God is going to send somebody right away to show you, you have faith. I'm going to send the right person out, out, you know, across your path because they're going to see your value where this person was trying to manipulate you over here. Same thing with the job. You're a highly magnetic sign. This job didn't appreciate you. I'm going to send you something better. This, this friendship didn't appreciate you. I'm going to send you something better. Okay, so that's how this is working. Here's your five questions. First question is, what are the stories of your ancestors, meaning your past lives? The second question is, where do you need to go to heal your connection with your roots? The third question is, do you feel truly empowered in your relationships and career? The fourth question is, is there a deep trauma you need to look at, heal, and release during this moon? And then also, uh, last but not least, is who are the people therapists, healers, and so on, who could, uh, help you dive deeper, um, step out of your comfort zone. Like I said before, I see you breaking cycles. I see you breaking curses with fear, doubt. Remember you could have had fear from your childhood or something. It, you may not even be able to connect the dots. Like Let's say, you know, let's say I give you an example of what fear would look like transfer to you. Let's say you grew up in a, um, let's say you grew up in a family where there was fear all running rampant throughout the house. Maybe there was abuse in the house, or maybe you were raised by a single parent who was always a fearful that, you know, we're never going to have enough money or we got to move from place to place to place. Or, um, it could be so many things that somebody was in denial about maybe in their childhood and that tri that fear transferred over to you as an adult. Like I'm afraid of leaving this friendship or this relationship behind because, uh, what are they going to think of me? Again, fear is still fear. There's a lot of things birthed from fear. So again, while at first you may not have been able to connect the dots, but now it's going to make it seem like, oh, okay, I never put those two together. Now it makes sense. So source is going to let you give you an opportunity to 
kind of sit with it for a minute and decide what are you going to do? Am I dealing with a master manipulator? If I am, and I feel like I can approach, if I feel like I'm in a safe space to approach it, I will approach that energy and, and just let the chips fall where they may. If it's a situation where I'm living with somebody and I can't just blurt it out and say X, Y, and Z because that could, you know, something else could happen. Um, then I, I, I got to be more creative and more strategic about moving on from something. But that's what I'm seeing for, this is what I'm seeing for you all. Oh, let's pull a, let's pull one of these Oracle cards, but your reading is, is multi-layered. Like I said before, somebody is trying to figure out how they can take care of themselves and get from up under the lying manipulation and all of that of some type of energy. Right. And so, um, Again, it that may not even be in a re, it, it that may be one scenario, a relationship, a romantic relationship, a job, or something like that. But let's say you're part of an organization, not a job. It's like something you volunteer to be a part of. You're part of an organization, and the energy is um the energy is trying to mess up your money in some short way, shape, form, or fashion. Let's say the energy, some energies are trying to mess up your money. And they're trying to manipulate situations. They want to be connected to you, but they're so low vibrational and snake, like venomous snake energy that their manipulation won't stop with you. If you've removed yourself from their lives or like you've turned off the water faucet after trying to explain certain things to them, like emotionally, and you've turned off the water faucets and now you're, you're pouring water into your own soil, which means I don't need you anymore. That, that manipulation is going to transfer to anybody that's on their frequency. So yeah, just like they were able to manipulate you at one point until you woke up, until you took the blindfolds off, they're going to transfer. They're going to look for a new supply of emotions. Somebody is dealing with a, somebody is dealing with a, um, a narcissist, a psychopath, sociopath. Somebody's dealing with somebody who is just, like I said, snake energy, venomous snake energy. We're not talking about the good snake. That's trying to warn you. We're talking about a venomous snake. Somebody is dealing with that. Deep breathing. So just take a deep breath. Take a deep breath and just take it all in. Let source expose everything. And I mean everything. Let source expose it. Let source expose it. So that when you decide to, I'm going to part ways with this energy. You're doing it in a safe space, emotionally, physically, mentally. You're doing it where you feel like you're in a safe space, you know, away from certain energies, away from certain energies, away from certain energies. Let's see what your number is and let's pull an affirmation card and let's go ahead and close it out. Let's go ahead and close this out. Let's go ahead and close this out. 30. I am imaginative. You are an original, innovative thinker and an excellent communicator. You have a great talent for using creativity to convey your ideas and your optimistic attitude has an uplifting effect on others. 30 is your number. 30 is your number. Um, let's see what else we have here. So somebody is highly creative. Another thing I'm seeing here in your cards could be a songwriter, could be an artist, could be a chef, could be something dealing with your creativity, painter, something having to do with your, your creativity, your water. And somebody has been exp using a lot of your creativity, your emotions on some kind of fear or doubt and being tied to people that's also on that same frequency. Um, some kind of insecurity, some kind of instability about something, and you're dealing with somebody's on that frequency. So your demon could be different from their demon. But for somebody, somebody's on the same frequency, and now you're awakening from that. Like you're learning how to um you're learning how to make it make sense. And as you're awakening from it, as you're taking off the blindfolds about certain situations, you are recognizing um that it's time to get as far away from certain things as you possibly can, okay? Get as far away from certain things as you can. Affirmations for joy. 
I was created for a purpose. Great things happen to me each day. My very presence is a blessing. I believe in myself. Joy is a choice and I choose joy. Greater is coming and I am enough. That's right. That is what I have for you. I will see you all on Motivational Monday. Bye.